please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God. I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. <sighs> Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, <sighs> forgive me. Thank you.
Hiya, oh. Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... Convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. And, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you st 
step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? They look like monsters to you? <gasps> Don't worry. It's just a joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this.
Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so, she has slumbered ever since.
in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but... Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it.